Hey, what's up guys? Four Door Mafia here. Doing a Garbage Pail Kids pickups video. And I uh, just wanted to say thank you very much guys for uh, subscribing and watching my videos. I came back from Vegas with uh, 40 new subscribers. So I've already passed the uh, 100 mark. Doesn't seem like a lot to people, but it is a lot to me. So thank you very much for watching everyone and commenting. And thank you very much. Just can't thank you guys enough. So i uh, start off with this Garbage Pail Kids movie poster. This is an official uh, 27 by 41 poster. It doesn't say uh, coming to video cassette or anything like that. So this is what they used in the theaters. Uh, they do make replicas, but they're actually smaller. And there's some that are even 27 by 40. It's pretty hard to find a uh, frame for this too. But always had a uh, special place in my heart for this movie. I uh, used to watch it when I was a kid. And this movie and The Wizard and The Ninja Turtle movies were my favorite movies back then. So uh, glad to pick that up. Might put it right here, but pretty sweet to, to look at when you're on the computer. So. And uh, pick these up from Strictly GPK in a trade. Traded him some uh, flashback Series 3 cards. And I know I have enough sealed packs, but you can never have enough, in my opinion. So he sent 20 um, from Series 8, 10, 11, and 12. So I'm not going to open these up, just keep them the way they are. It's like stacks of money, or bricks of money. And uh, threw these in. I do not have any of these for my collection, so I've never even seen any of these in person. Uh, they're the first series giant cards. I have some of the second series, but none of the first series cards. And uh, they're they're not numbered or anything, but they have a checklist on the back, one through thirty nine. So probably pick up a set of these in the future. I'm gonna keep these sealed up for the collection. He threw in a uh, Italian card. I got eight of these, and it's in a, in a nine pocket uh, sleeve. So this will fit right in the ninth pocket. It says thanks for the trade, brother. GPK killer. So I got those and uh, picked this up. It's a uh, costume. Here's the box. I got two of these. These are from 1985, Collegeville. And um, these, these I used to wear when I was a kid. If you guys collect garbage pill kids, if you guys grew up in the 80s like I did, you'll, you'll definitely remember these costumes. Um, they were just basically a, like a little plastic mask and then like an apron that you put on around your your waist and neck. This one says, you know, Topps Chewing Company on the top and then USA right there. Just little holes, you know, and when you put these on you, you always sweat through those little holes. I used to always be Raphael when I was a kid and Batman was never a garbage pill kid but I think it was only like two or three when these came out so I think two actually so got one of one other one up here it's Bug Burt and these were five dollars back in the day pretty hard to find these in this condition because they were cheap I mean when I wore mine the uh, little you know plastic pieces all just broke off even that night when you're trick-or-treating so it's good to see these in this condition picked them up for a really cheap price so there is three total ones Rob Slob and I don't have that one but I'm just glad to have two of them come over here and you can see I picked up a new case got this for my mom actually she's had it for about two three years and she wanted to get rid of it uh, I just brought it right over all together 
and it's a white version, so I'm probably not going to get another one because I think they only make them in black now. Um, but pretty cool to have. Strictly GPK has one of these, and actually he's got two of them, and they they do the trick. Just put uh, a lot of my uh, favorite things in here. It's definitely not my whole collection, and like I said, I probably won't get another case, so I'll probably just switch things around as I get bored with them. But let's start with the top here. I got a new uh, cheap toy, and I just talked to uh, Muscle Things last night. He's going to be making me a Nasty Nick uh, custom sculpt, well, custom cheap toy. So uh, thank you very much for doing that for me, man. Um, probably talk to you a little bit more about that. Um, picked up a little uh, checklist here in a bag from uh, Strictly GPK just to go with the little cheap toys. Probably just picked up or pick up um, each one. I'm not going to go crazy with them. Does look good with each of the little colors though. So who knows. Um, anyways, picked up... Uh, or not picked up. Got a series one set here. And got nasty neck up at the top representing. Got um, some of these series two cards. This is my uh, complete set. It's got Jolted Joe backs and the Messy Tessy backs. And they're all in uh, pack fresh shape. So stuck that in the case. Got the uh, Mark Pingator concept sketch right there. For flashback two, it's virus iris, and uh, it's just like the nasty Nick I have right there. Just didn't frame it up yet. I got the uh, series one box right there, the UK box, and then a pack that I got from Strictly GPK, sealed series one pack, and uh, got this yesterday. And I am really excited to finally get this. It's Greaser Greg. And you've probably seen the video me Bill 4 made for me. Um, if you haven't seen his channel, check him out. I'll leave his name down in my description. And um, it's, it's a custom clay sculpt. And it's very, very detailed. He's even got little ambers in the uh, cigarette. Uh, grease in his hair. And even the, the little leather jackets. All uh, glossy like leather. You got his zippers right there, and creases in his pants, creases in his um, little pockets. Just can't believe how detailed these things are. And I can't wait till he makes uh, the uh, messy testy for me. Um, I'd like to get one from each character from the movie. Uh, there's seven characters total, so maybe eventually. I'll have all of them, uh, but for now I got Greaser Greg right there. Come down here and uh, got some of my sketch cards. I got eight total, but just put some of the uh, good ones in here. Or not some of the good ones, but just um, some of them. It's all of the ones I, I like equally. I got um, a Barf Boys cassette tape right here. And I actually thought this was a little bit smaller than than usual. I thought it was going to be the size of the cassette tape. But uh, again, this is made by John Pound. He drew this, and it was released in 1989, so right towards the end of the Garbage Pail Kids era, before the new series came out. These were found at um, Spencer's. So um, got a... Proof card from the Cohen Carvers. Got the certificate underneath him. And uh, did not know that they were non die cut until a couple months after I had it. Maybe a month after I had it, I was just looking at it and I was like, hey, where's the uh, little cut on it? So, pretty surprised to see that after I've already had it. But I've um, got a couple keychains back there. And come down here. And got this uh, rack pack. I've had this for a while, but didn't bother to post a video about it. Got some balloons also. And in the back, you got the buttons. Um, I had these sealed up in the box, but 
figure for the collection it looked better not sealed so I uh, took it out of the box and um, I got the Brent Ingstrom little uh, sketch there and the signed cards should be getting my card soon from him he sent me a picture yesterday and uh, it looks amazing so can't wait to pick that up and got the uh, Garbage Bell Kids cartoon right up there and last not but not least I got my Imperial Toys collection I'd love to have a uh, little bouncy ball um, in the corner there a um, couple other little things I'd like to get but it's uh, coming along nicely I got the uh, little album the tacky snappers the zipper pull and the uh, pencil case with the atom bomb on it so uh, that's it guys um, should be getting a couple more things eventually uh, sweet me 83 made me a sweet uh, custom sculpt she sent that off and as always guys thank you guys for watching and half this collection is from people on YouTube friends that I've made so um, wouldn't have this collection without you guys trades that I've done uh, so again thank you guys for watching and happy Thanksgiving guys